Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've been very, very busy with all these high speed trains, the ETRs, the uh, the double HST. Um, but today I'm going to come back to the Alstom AGV Avelia 575 and I'll show you some of the upgrades that I've been doing. Now this is the front end of course you can see that of one of the uh, driving units here and I've given it uh, a grey undercoat just to show you how well modelled this piece really is. Now I've damaged all this around here because I was trying to cut this whole thing out. The idea was I wanted to try to cast a clear screen but I had the idea to just remove this section and uh, see if I can just glaze that part and bring this all in with the colour scheme. I'll show you now what I've been up to over the last couple of days. And what I've done is I've removed that front end from there. gives me something about 90% of the length of a passenger car. Now in the same way that I removed this with clean cuts of a sharp knife down uh, the already existing panel lining, in the same way I've removed the nose cone of this one proved to be extremely difficult because the the screw which screws the body to the undercarriage is directly under the nose cone. Cut one out with a sharp knife and the other one with a Dremel so now they are ready they need a, a, a slight clean up now I've also managed to create a, a this is just a test window you see why it's difficult it's got the, the, the camber that side but it's also got a curve at the top to follow this line so this is just a test excuse my this is that's primer so it needs some fine tuning to get it to fit but it is what I'm looking for, it will work so I'm really pleased about that I've got this is clear plastic card that's what that is and what I do, I've got a small halogen heater up here and I very carefully warm it, gently taking time. I warm it, and I've got this is the window that I cut out of here. If you remember, I I was careful to cut the window, and I sacrificed the frame a little bit on that one. But once this is warm, I can lay that on there and gently tease that into position uh, over a two or three runs and get a window. So I'm going to get on with this and make another passenger car. Okay, there's one cut. So that's clipped on and that screw lines up. So at least I know I've got one screw. 
so there are the two pieces together there's the cut line there and that's clipped on uh, if I bring in one of the actual coaches you see there that they are exactly the same length to the millimeter and I've found that this line here with the door the line of the door is absolutely perfect as a marker for the cut so I'm going to use this end piece here now I've used a straight edge to continue that line up to the roof on both sides and then I've used some very wide masking tape to join those two lines together I've relied on the masking tape's width to keep that nice and straight so that's my line okay so this piece has now been removed it's a nice clean cut I did it with the knife the uh, the Dremel as good as it is it's not good for things like this it's, it's, it's slightly too fast and powerful for this kind of work so now that let's see it doesn't really matter which way around going to go on there like that this one's coming out now let's see if I can hold it all together there we go. get the other passenger car and put it there you'll see that's exactly the same and of course it has the section for the bogies to be connected so I may use this as a test for the livery but um, I don't know the, it, it may come in handy what about this that would make an interesting train wouldn't it a high speed rail car It'd be quite easy wouldn't it to put together I've got the two halves of this and theoretically they should fit together to fit that exact length they do that just for fun well look I'm gonna leave this video now it's just for me now to make some internal slips from plastic to fit all these together and then I'll run that, I'll clean that up and run that and I'll do another video on the nose to nose coupling I'll show you how I come up with a solution for this I have a few good ideas that I'm going to test out in the meantime thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this update and I'll see you all soon. All the best.